Hi guys and welcome to this sort of session, having a look at our client settlement feature in more detail. As you can see there, I've already got about 10 um, products here already pre-selected. Uh, I just want to quickly run through what all of this means, how you can utilize it, and uh, some hints and tips about how you can get the most from it as well. So one of the first things I'm going to do is just um, squeeze it out a little bit further. I just like to have the smaller view, but guys, it's entirely up to yourself how you decide to use it. So first of all, it's got the product name. And uh, you can see there it says all clients. I can switch between all clients, top clients, and show a combined view. But I'll come back to that in a second. I should point out if you want to have more information about the um, about client sentiment, you can also find it in the information section. But I'll take you through this uh, piece by piece. So on the left-hand side, you've got um, the number of clients that are that are trading this. E effectively, if you've got 10 clients trading the US 30, five are long, five are short, that would be 50-50. Okay, um, so quite simply, number of clients, number of unique clients that are currently trading, and this is a percentage difference between the two. Okay, you notice there that it's got a, a down arrow and six percent. What that's telling you is that this actually dropped. Uh, this was actually sixty-nine percent as of ten p.m. last night. And uh, the reason why I'm pointing that out is this figure right here is actually uh, within the last sixty seconds. So client sentiment at CMC Markets updates every minute. And uh, during the session, you might actually see it tick up or down depending on if there's a lot of client activity at this time. Um, so this is the number of clients. So you can see that 37% are buyers, 63% are, are sellers. And this figure here is down 9%. As you can see there, the inner circle is from the temp is basically the time from 10 p.m. last night. And uh, this is the current um, percentage within the minute, okay? Now on the right hand side, you've got by position value. Now by position value is effectively like the total exposure or basically where, where the big money is. So this might be the number of unique clients, but let's say you had 10 positions running. One guy was uh, was short or was, was selling a million pounds worth and all the other nine guys were, were buyers at say uh, 10 grand's worth. There would be a massive skew towards the sellers because there's a lot more money selling than there was buying. So in this particular instance here, you can see that, that by position value or by exposure, that 23% are buyers and 77% are currently sellers. So this does give you a quite an interesting viewpoint as to the difference. So you can see there you've got 37 and 63, and here you've got 23 and 77. Just below that, you've also got also being traded. So these are uh, other products that are um, that are related to uh, the traders who are also trading this or also trading these. And you can left click on this and it will load up the same screen as all these other client sentiment windows right here as well. So that can be quite useful. Uh, but typically, I like to, to concentrate on my favorite um, products. Now these are the 10 most popular here at CMC. Uh, so I'm gonna stick with the current formation. So as you can see, there, you've got all clients. It's all clients at CMC markets on the next generation trading platform. If I flip forward to top clients, this takes the exact same calculations, but only applies it to clients with a minimum of three months trade history uh, who have made a profit over uh, without obviously taking into, into account uh, my spreads and commissions. Um, so you've got top clients and then you've got the all clients. As you can see in this particular instance, they're kind of similar. Uh, but then if I flip over to the next side, you just saw that just tick up right there just now. Uh, if I flip to the next side, which is the combined view, what this does is overlays the all and top clients. And you notice there, there's a slight change in, in yellow. You've got the all clients is like a darker orange and the top clients, which are the guys I said I've made a profit with the last three months, minus spreads and commissions, is a slightly, um, more of a slightly yellow color. And what you can actually see from here, uh, some quite interesting data that this is, uh, again, within the last 60 seconds, uh, it's increased, so there'd be more sellers come in since 10 p.m. last night, so there'd be an extra 2% increase there on the US 30. Now, ideally, if I just flick forward and make these all combined views, one of the things that I quite like to look for, like a little hint and tip, is to try and spot products that have got the biggest difference between all and top clients. So let me see if there's anything here that stands out. Well, right away, you can see gold here has got quite a big difference. You can see that there's a quite a quite a big change there. You can see that top clients are 52% buyers, whereas all clients are currently 63% buyers. So there's a decent decent change right there. You can also see on uh, on Brent crude, there's also a relative difference right there. You can see the top clients are are more heavily uh, buying into uh, Brent crude versus all clients. And uh, conversely, if you look at GBP USD, um, you can actually see there that there's less top clients buy, uh, selling into uh, GBP USD right there. So um, it can be quite interesting to see it. The Germany 30 is another example right there, where you can see that the uh, the top clients are 66% uh, sellers, whereas everybody else is 78. So 
uh, it can be quite useful to try and find products with the biggest uh, differential between between all and top. Um, it just gives you some interesting insight as to as to what's happening next. Another uh, kind of tip for users of this uh, kind of going forward is I like to look for products that have got the the biggest change from 10 p.m. last night. So so gold here is a prime example where you can see here that our clients were a, a lot more bullish at 10 p.m. last night uh, versus what they're doing right now. So this is actually down uh, 15%. You can see it just ticks there in real time as, as it updates. And um, you can see that now it's actually 10%. So you've actually had quite a big swing right there. That was just 15 just a minute ago. So there, there is obviously a big client trading on gold right now. Um, and it's, it's just kind of interesting to see how it works. So ideally you're looking for, uh, for, for, for big swings and then do a little bit more research. Why is there such a big difference in, uh, in buyers and sellers on this product from 10 p.m. last night? And just continuously monitor this to see to see what happens because as I said, it does update in, in real time. Uh, now you guys can obviously go ahead and utilize this any way you want. I've got one layout here that I've pretty much dedicated to client sentiment, but you can load it up very easily uh, by just left clicking here and selecting client sentiment from this. And it's always, it's always product specific. And uh, remember that you can launch order tickets directly from here uh, you can look at new charts, open quote panels, uh, you get everything that you need to from the drop down menu. Um, but the client sending feature really does give you a, a, a nice overview as to what the uh, the rest of the CMC market clients are doing. And it tells you by the number of clients, so it gives you an idea of those unique uh, unique clients that are trading at what their um, position are. Are they more, are they more uh, biased to, to, to selling or to buying? And then on the right hand side, you've got the position value, which as I said is like the exposure, where, where the big money is. And uh, again, you, you've got this nice uh, combined view where you can see the difference between all clients of CMC and just those that have made a profit over the last three months minus spread and commissions. So um, it does give you a nice insight as to the uh, as to what our clients are thinking. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you find this short video interesting. And uh, if you do have any feedback on the client sending feature, remember you can go to support and just go to feedback there and leave us uh, any feedback as you see fit. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the session and uh, keep an eye on YouTube for many more videos.